Well, you've got a lovely home, Don. Oh, thank you very much. This is lovely. I needed, some, I needed some place to keep cars. Is that right? And it's hard to find a house with a three-car garage and a right. fenced yard where I can keep my dogs. Mm -hmm. so. And right here, I'm sure behind those doors is your uh, little collection here yeah, at home. This is, um, I don't go for big, expensive cars. No? I go for cars that I, I just like. Hey, this looks good. Yeah. Look at that. There's that Mini you talked about. Let's have a look. Don, it's a beautiful area. You're right across the street from a high school. Did oh, your yes, that's uh, the entertainer uh, Madonna went to high school right there. Madonna went to the... Right you're there. kidding. Yep. Really? Uh, so her right family's there. from this area? Yes, they lived uh, just uh, a few blocks from here, and she just built her father a new home about a mile and a half north. You're kidding. Yeah. Wow. Yep. I wonder what car they drive. Anyway. Ah, uh, don't know. Let's have a look at this collection of yours here. What's first on, okay. uh, on the Okay, this here? is... A 63 mm -hmm. TVR Grand Tura. Beautiful. And uh, this is one of, TVR is probably my, my favorite mark. They're great fun cars. Tubular chassis, fiberglass body, mm -hmm. independent suspension. This one has an MG engine uh, with a HRG cross flow. Okay. Aluminum head and two uh, 40 millimeter Webers. I see. And uh, so it's quite strong. It's yeah. A, it almost looks like MG wire wheels, actually. Well, they're actually from a 289 Cobra. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. They, now, the TVR would normally not have had mm -hmm. this wide of a wheel and tire, and I uh, modified, uh, modified the yeah. fenders. Well, uh, what, what is the, the original story behind TVR? Tell me a little bit about its heritage. The, uh, the, the, the uh, designer's name was Trevor Wilkinson. Okay. And the T, V, and R come from the name Trevor. Oh, I see. And right. uh, he started out building his own backyard car uh -huh. or two. People wanted ones like it. And, so this uh, is kind he, of, he, It's like, uh, it's the British Brickland story, but without the uh, it, heavy... Uh, <laughs> Heavy uh, in, in a sense, I guess, yeah. yeah. Uh, TVR has been uh, close to bankruptcy numerous times, yeah. and they come back bigger and better every time. Is that right? Yeah. Now, what have you got on? This is the Frog this, Eye Sprite. This is under the, the uh, Frog Eye. Beautiful. Let's unfurl that. This one that. has a period um, Judson supercharger. Is that right? So this is not factory, then? The supercharger is not. Right. And that looks very nice and clean, that engine. Now, you, you have to realize that this is an engine that produced 48 horsepower, mm -hmm. and with the supercharger, now has 64 horsepower. Really? So it's still not a rocket. No. But it's an improvement over, you know, the but, standard and car. And peppy, though, because it's a small car. Yes, though. correct. That's oh, yeah. what the whole appeal was with yes. the, these small Austin Healy's. Yes. Now, what do your neighbors think, though? You must, come on, be honest with me. Don't your neighbors think this guy's a nutcase? He's got all these British cars. Well, His car that he drives to work is even British, and here, here he is in the middle of, you know, the, of Michigan, yeah, I, America. It's hard to explain, really, I guess, isn't I just, it? Yeah, I, it is hard to explain. I would yeah. have thought, you know, it's okay to have two, maybe three cars, but I thought, how many are we looking at now? British cars, one. You know, two, three, four, five. We had two more at the yeah, there's, shop. There's, yeah, there's a TVR in the, so in you, the next garage. So you've got garage. About 10 cars in your collection. Yeah, all I have English. 11, yeah. That are, 11, is it? That are English. Amazing. Yes. British cars have character mm -hmm. that no other cars have. Did you hear that? They, no, that's, that's a fact. He, he lives in the Detroit area where there's all this big car manufacturing done, you know, Ford and GM, and he just told us that the British cars are the best you can get. You know, the yeah. character is Yeah, is the all character there. is there. What they're, a great uh, endorsement. They're, they're, uh, and they're, they're far more reliable than, mm -hmm. than they're given credit for. Yeah. Now, right beside the bug eye, there's the Woody that you've talked about so proudly. Yes. Tell me more. Uh, it's a 61 Morris Woody. Mm -hmm. um, wrong grill. I didn't have the proper grill, and you I didn't improvise. think anybody would notice. So I don't think we would have. If I you used what I had. Us. Yeah. Um, now, this is, uh, is a bit of your own work. You, yes. You the, original, you... the original wood, this, this car was was in very, very bad shape. The floors were badly rotted mm -hmm. and the wood was badly rotted. Right. And since it had to be remade and I was fixing this up for my wife, right. I had the wood done uh, in oak mm -hmm. and it's from the oak flooring of a one-room schoolhouse <laughs> up in Hale, Michigan. And uh, really? her being a school teacher, I thought it was uh, appropriate. appropriate. The cane, uh, I stole that idea from uh, Peter Sellers. Peter oh, really? Sellers had a personal mini Did that he? had cane sides on it. His wasn't a Woody, it was just right. a standard mini, but it had cane sides. What a great and, story. Uh, the only problem with the cane in the summer when the car is used, 
it's fine. It's taut. It's it's got color. It's, it's contracted a bit. Yeah, it contracts yeah. in the heat, but in the winter and the humidity, mm -hmm. it it gets a little soft. But oh, I see. But it doesn't matter because it sits right there all winter. Right. And we've had this one um, 18 years, I believe. Wow. Yeah. How uh, how do you think the new redesigned uh, relaunch mini is going to do? I think it'll do great. Do you? Uh, I think it'll do great. I'm disappointed that it's a BMW mini. It's BMW mini. and um, uh, you know you know I mean I, it's it's just. I thought there were two companies involved. Well, Chrysler BMW. apparently Chrysler builds the engine. Okay. Uh, for uh, BMW that's in it. That's right. that's what I heard. I. Well, I had a, a a quick peek at it, and it appears to be the same shape but squatter. Yes. It looks a lot yes. closer to the ground. I think it's going to do well. I hope I'm, it does. I'm anxious to see it. I haven't seen it yet till we get to the auto show. But I don't know what the uh, North Americans will think. Oh, I though, think they'll uh, sell uh, as but, many as they can build. But I don't think that, I, I, won't we have to change the people's view of how safe it is? You know, that's a tiny car to be in when you're lumbering alongside a big uh, SUV that's high But the there ground. are a lot of small cars on the road here, yeah. you know your your golfs and uh, rabbits and things. Yeah, there's yeah, uh, right. there's plenty of small cars. Yeah. Uh, well, unfortunately, what has happened to the British car company? You can you can talk to a 25 year old. Yeah. They don't know what an MG is or That's a Triumph right. is. That you know you've lost two decades of customers really, sure. yeah. and they they don't even know what they are. Yeah. Uh, which is a shame.